You knew it was going to be a special day, didn't you? Bill has combed his hair. <laughs> Stu has curled his hair. I, I knew when I showed up it was going to it was going to be special. It was exciting, absolutely exciting. How you described how Bill Bondison pulls you into that circle of love. If you've been on a bus and spent any time in a Wakanzi Mini Wonka experience, <laughs> even as a faculty and a colleague, you've experienced that. And Bill, on behalf of faculty colleagues, not just here at Mizzou, but across the country, thank you for helping us find that circle because it is significant. And it's because of that that while Mizzou will be different without you here, it will be better because you have been here. And not only better here, but better in many, many places of higher education where you have truly sown those seeds that our First Lady described in her remarks. So thank you very, very much. A round of applause for Bill Barnett. Of course, we know that it's all been possible because you've had Linda there cracking the whip and driving you up the hill, and Linda, really. <laughs> Stu, would you please come join me here at the podium? I would have invited Bill, but Bill's going to have a, podi a little podium time here coming up. And um, this is our, our our time to thank um, Dr. Polanski more formally. Um, now, we, he's been negotiating an apartment in New York City where he can represent Mizzou as our admissions ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> the final word, Stu? No. <laughs> he's, um, if we would have had his favorite food today, it would have been a New York deli style sandwich. Do I have that right? Absolutely. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to give him a coupon to Subway and <laughs> wish him well. If there were some way we could recreate the food smells that he recounts from when he'd go up into the apartment to see his grandparents, we'd all share that special memory with him as well. Stu's been serving as the Honors College Director for 20 years. It's been my great pleasure the last three and a half or so to serve with him and to be mentored by him. And he's been a, a valued and trusted colleague. Uh, I can't begin to capture the, the same level of, of very eloquent remarks that the students have shared. But I think those that know Stu know that he's left that kind of imprint on many, many, many lives both students, as well as faculty and colleagues. So, because we couldn't get you the apartment or the BMW, <laughs> we do have a small token of our appreciation, and I would invite you to open it now, if you would, please. Uh, well, this is not dangerous. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Good, good job. Good job. Keep up the encouragement. Let's get the ribbon off. Oh. <coughs> now, before you see it, and you're hoping it's a picture of Collins, I know, right? A Jayhawk. I was a hoping Jay it's a Jayhawk. Shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. Now, I understand, Dr. Polonsky that you collect some work by Dr. Horde, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very, very much. Now, the photo is a picture by Dr. Horde, who's a faculty member of our art department here, and is someone that, that Stu has Collected. But this particular photo was selected specifically, Stu, with you in mind. It is a, a, a bumblebee wrapped in pollen in the middle of an iris. 
And, I, and when, when I saw that, as I went through the works to select one for Stu, um, it struck me not as a bumblebee, which he knows nothing about, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Other than he was stung once by one and he had allergic reaction, but, but more of a humble bee. And those that know Stu know that Stu is, is not the person that takes credit, but he's the person that always gives credit. But we, when we think about the seed, what better image than the work of the humble bee and how he spreads that new life from life to life to life. And Stu, for me, that's the greatest contribution you've made in your time at Mizzou. And on behalf of, of your colleagues and this great institution and the many students that couldn't be here today, we thank you with a heartfelt thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. I have about an hour and a half of remarks, if you don't mind, <laughs> but I won't use them. I want to thank you all for, uh, for coming today. I thank you kind for the kind remarks from everybody who made remarks. And it's really somewhat embarrassing to be thanked for something that you enjoy doing so much. You can hardly believe others would thank you for doing it because you would do it probably for free if you were independently wealthy. <laughs> I do appreciate the kind words. I appreciate the students' comments. I appreciate the opportunity to work with a wonderful student body, a delightful group of colleagues, and good administrators. We have a lot to be proud of at the University of Missouri, and I'm very pleased to have been here for the last 26 years. Thank you very much. I hope to be here much longer. Our formal program. I did want to point out that there are some French lemon tarts over here that look lonely. So if anybody is interested in dessert, please stay and have dessert. And I wanted also to present to Stu Polanski the ambassadors. Um, wrote you some thank yous, some cards, and I'll bring those to you. Thank you so much. The lecture, one more time. The lecture is at 2 p.m., um, just next door, so you have um, 25 minutes, no, 35 minutes to uh, relax and take a stroll around the campus and join us next door. Thank you.